Trump continued by stating, I hope the Republicans have the courage to fight this. <laughs> proven innocent for six years on everything from fake impeachments, special counsel Robert Mueller, no collusion, and more. It is physical. And more to now the 20 elections <laughs> this is going to be interesting back to where things are at currently now remember trump and his legal team seem to have the appeals to move to the legal process this is mostly done now. so far the supreme court is going to take go higher issues Court to talk to Jacks, or sorry, we're applying to twenty elections. It says the strict court of appeals. This is the U.S. District Columbia Circuit previously agreed to make the hotly contested case, giving the appellants until the twenty-four to five finding arguments for. Through the Supreme Court determined it's not going to go through this. But it notes the filing comes after the Supreme Court had already decided not fast track the case. So again, we'll see what happens with the appellate courts. And Smith, of course, <laughs> was not prepared to the March 4th trial deadline. He wanted to have it rushed. It says the result of the appeals will decide whether the DOJ's case against Trump has teeth, suggesting that not only now will it have to go through this appellate court. But it will even determine whether you know Jack Smith is going to even have any impact on the court. It will also determining whether the political case will be in the first place. If the trial goes ahead, President Trump would be required to appear in Washington District Court every weekday for two or three months. And notably, remember, Trump's trying to campaign for president right now. Even though it would go through this process... This would seriously disrupt his ability to, you know, campaign and so on. And it's going to be a big question hanging over all this now. You know, if if this is not going to be able to happen before, the, you know, the 2024 elections, if the whole thing is off the table for that, can Trump delay that process until after the 2024 elections anyways, you know, this whole appeals process? Because he could argue that this would, you know, of course, interfere with his ability to run for president. Now, it continues saying that a 1982 Supreme Court opinion had established absolute immunity for presidents from civil suits. For criminal prosecution, both parties have argued that the bounds of immunity have not been defined. So we'll have to see where they determine all this. <laughs> Donald Trump, and <laughs> there are a lot of them, a lot of them are possibly off the table for now. And, you know, maybe if Trump loses the 2024 election, of course, he's going to have to face all of that still. If Trump does not win against Joe Biden, he's probably going to have to face still all those charges from Jack Smith. That entire process wins. If was president, well, the story he give himself a little bit. Trump pretty much on the line now. The big part is that it, I think at the current time, though, is this. None of this is going to be able to interfere with the 2020, 2024, uh, 2024 elections other than Trump having to appear in court and having that very likely interfere with his ability to campaign. But the next big story is, of course, what the Democrats are doing to, let's say, just remove Trump from the ballot entirely. We've been talking a lot about, you know, they've tried everything. They've tried charging with just about every crime imaginable the worst ones you can think of other than maybe murder and here we are now the question was well what are they going to do next well the answer is try 